On the docket tonight, the case against Letitia Stout, the so-called evil stepmother accused of the murder of little Gannon Stout. Our affiliate KOAA and reporter Colette Bordelon has the latest in her case as she faces a preliminary hearing. Thursday was Letitia Stouck's preliminary hearing, where prosecutors have to prove to the judge they have enough evidence to take the case to trial. The results of the autopsy of Gannon Stouck's body, which was found under a bridge in a suitcase in the Florida Panhandle, were finally made public. The official cause of death ruled as a gunshot wound and blunt force trauma to the head. A bullet was recovered from his skull, which was also fractured, and his body had 18 sharp force wounds. An FBI agent confirmed the bullet found in Gannon's head was from a gun located in Stouck's bedroom which also had her DNA on it. The prosecution says based on GPS tracking that Stouck drove Gannon's body to Florida with her teenage daughter in tow before the two went to South Carolina. We also watched the body-worn camera footage from the night deputies responded to the Stouck home in Lorson Ranch when Gannon was first reported missing. In it, we see a deputy look through Stouck's car in the garage, but he doesn't find anything. The arrest affidavit claims that's where she hid Gannon's body. A few days later, investigators found a trail of blood throughout the home originating from Gannon's bedroom. And in an unusual move, Stouck decided to waive her right to be present for the hearing, meaning she didn't get to see exactly what happened in the courtroom. I don't blame her. <laughs> Nothing good happened for her inside that courtroom. Let's bring back in our think tank KC early, Jennifer Brandt, Michael Bixon. Michael, I'm listening to this evidence, and I, I know there have been um, many, many search warrants, thousands of pages of documents, but now putting this, this stuff together, uh, to me, the gun with the defendant's DNA in her bedroom and then tracking the GPS all the way from Colorado down to Florida near the panhandle where uh, little Gannon's uh, body was disposed of, uh, this is devastating, devastating evidence. Absolutely. I think one of the hardest things to get around is the GPS evidence. And you see this a lot more in you know, the cases that we see nowadays with uh, GPS tracking, cell phone tracking and things like that. Um, and, and, you know, obviously, if you're not doing a motion to suppress and there's a, not a warrant issue, they're very, very, very difficult to get around uh, because it shows exactly where they went and, and what they were doing. And, you know, on top of that, when you have things like guns and, you know, other physical evidence, it makes it that much worse. So for the defense, they are going to have quite a struggle to get around something like this. And, and KC, the other thing is Letitia Stalk, when she was first interviewed, uh, first she reports him missing, that he went to his friend's house and never came back. Then she changed the story that there was some Hispanic guy, I forgot what his name was, um, because he doesn't exist in the real world. Anyway, um, came into the house and held him at gunpoint and raped her and murdered him. All of this stuff, I mean, bizarre stuff. Now they're tracking her. They're able to track her to where the body was, was uh, where little Gannon was, was left, uh, all the way in Florida. Let me ask you, though, about the teenage daughter. Uh, what, if anything, do you think prosecutors will do with her? Do they call her as a witness? Do they, what do they do? I mean, of course, um, you would think that the prosecution would call the uh, daughter as a witness, but... In this case, you're putting her in a difficult position to testify uh, against her mother. Um, and what additional information would she provide? I mean, in this case, the prosecution has overwhelming evidence. Put aside the GPA, um, inf uh, GPS information. They also have DNA, blood on the gun. And you also have this crime of passion, multiple stab wounds, as well as close range. So we know that the victim obviously knew the person who committed this crime and the crime of passion. So there's overwhelming evidence. The prosecution is going to basically have to decide whether or not it's necessary to have uh, the daughter testify in this case. Jennifer Brandt, some of the other disturbing parts of this case, when he gets to what was happening, it seems that this evil stepmother um, felt like she wasn't getting enough attention from Gannon's dad and he was just using her to watch the child. And, I mean, sick, sick stuff. Whatever's going on in her mind. You don't like the marriage, you just leave, right? I mean, that's what you do all the time, family law. You don't like the marriage, you leave. That's right, but you know it's a very emotional issue and people get upset and she was beyond upset, you know, with whatever was going on in the marriage and in some twisted way perhaps thought that getting rid of uh, 
her husband's son would help the situation. I, I, I can't imagine, but you know, in her mind, she was looking up things on the internet of, you know, uh, about, you know, that she didn't want to be a stepmom and, and, and things of that nature. So, I mean, clearly she saw the child as a problem and didn't really look at the relationship itself. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately now, uh, you have this poor, poor child, this poor victim and, you know, and she's looking to spend, uh, a long time in jail, if not the rest of her life. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it was obviously she's she's very sick uh, to think about something like this. And Gannon's dad is just, I mean, he's broken. He's broken. Of course. I mean, I mean, it's awful. Yeah, and, awful. And not his fault. I mean, he did nothing wrong. Okay, um, let's take a look. We've got no trial date yet. They're just finishing the preliminary hearing. That's the step. You get enough evidence. The judge says there's enough evidence. You go ahead to trial. Then you set the date. So we'll keep an eye on this one for you out of Colorado.